YouTube. Hello, YouTube. Welcome to Tufu. Uh, tubes uh, <laughs> Fatube Tubes. <laughs> Work in progress, please. Alright, uh, so what would you like to uh, say to the viewers here about your place? Um, so basically, this is uh, just a work in progress. We don't know what we're going to do with this. I have a bunch of really well built cars um, that they run perfectly fine. Oh my I might god, start... this new car is aerodynamic. It was like floating straight in the air. Yeah, um, I might start making and selling these. I might make a game out of them, like uh, Death Race Demolition or just plain old racing. And, uh, yeah, we have a whole team to do pretty much whatever we desire. We have scripters, builders, graphical designers, and stuff. Um, and yeah. Alright, so... so these, huh? these are pretty much all the cars. Do you want to go through them all? There's only three so far, but... One of, there's one that's respawning right here. Alright, let's the, wait for that one to respawn. So this is, uh, what is this car right here? Is this the Chevy Bel Air? Yeah, it's a 1955 Chevy Bel Air, and it's it says the it's other like ones don't. Extremely detailed. Oh shit. Um. It uh it says testing on the side because this one's a special one. It crashes. Like if you if you crash it into something, it may or may not decide to like take damage. Like for example, watch this. This looks really cool. <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> yeah, that didn't work out as planned. I completely blew up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, another thing I wanted to show you. The interiors of all the cars are well designed too, especially the um new car I just made today. Uh the interior it has like a blue leather. I don't even uh no. So but, um, the new car he just built is like a Ford 1955 or Thunderbird or something like that? Yeah, Ford 19... So it takes a while for all these parts to generate. Here, uh, where are you? I'm at the little town. Ha. Here, let me, let me go over there. Show them what the interior looks like. Get Like, get inside the passenger seat and look in first okay, person. I'm waiting for my car to respawn. There we go. This is the Ford uh, Thunderbird right here. And wow, you did really improve your interiors, the third design. This looks pretty good. I mean, we can't make the interiors too detailed because, uh, well, I'm not making them, he is. Uh, one reason is that uh, a lot of these parts will start lagging and stuff if we have too many, so. Oh, shit! Works pretty good as a rammer. Let me get in the passenger seat. So what car do you think you're gonna make next then? Uh, you wanted me to make like a Mustang, or I don't know. I might start, uh, like. Dude, make like, a make like a 1960s or 70s Mustang where it's everyone loves those. Make one of yeah, those. Yeah, those look, those look great. Watching you drive in first person, especially in the passenger seat, looks really well. Cause the 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 seat and everything, the interior is very well made in this car. Especially the roof. I love the roof. It's so C-framed. Imagine this with like Beam and G or something. Yeah. Um, do you want to say anything about like cars or offerings or like uh, car buying or something like that? These are gonna be. I don't know. De like depending on how much detail you want. Like the if I were to sell this one, it, it would probably be around uh, like. Big, how much would you want to buy this for? Like, I'll buy it for. Think? I I don't. I'm not. I don't have that many Robux, so I'd probably I buy it for like, five hundred or maybe eight hundred at the most. I'm not saying like how much can you afford. I'm saying like how much do you think this would go for? Like, I feel like two K because I spent. It, it's extremely hard to make these. Yeah, it is, and plus they're completely drivable and they work perfectly fine. And what I notice yeah. is that your cars they can flip over easily by themselves, but you know, sometimes yeah. you get unlucky. Um, so it's got cockpit details; it's completely functional. Um, what else? Any other features of the cars? Oh yeah, the wheels. Um, these are synth. Uh, these are artificial type of wheels, so you don't get to see the actual wheels. These are just there for details. 
So that's a nice system that he developed. Um, anything else you want to say about your cars or this place? Um, I can't think of anything. Um, you can come test the cars here at his work in progress place. It's like on his first page of places, and it's called WIP Work in Progress. Um, so let's, let's take you around one of the race maps that we're, he's developing it here. Oh, do you want to have a race before you do that? And uh, I'm already started. I'll just take him through right. this. So you can see how soft these bumps are when you hit them with the car. So let's do a jump. That was actually not that bad. Alright. Second jump is really hard. As you can see, it turns really well, too. What's the max speed for these cars? Do you know? Um, two something. I don't know. They have to be faster on Roblox because Roblox uh, things are, are stud per second up uh, miles per hour. So it's like 200. Well, you're in the sports car right now, so it's like 270, but the other ones are like 220, 230. Oh, I didn't make the jump. You didn't. Enough. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the, what. What car is that? It looks it doesn't look like it's finished um, yet. Yeah, it's not. It's not finished. I didn't get to make the back or much of the interior, but I made the front and the the whole body. Um, it's a 1970s some Ford Pontiac. I don't know. It's not that accurate because it was the first one I ever made. Yeah. But then, as you can see, um, the more and more cars I make, the the better I get. Is the the more they evolve. Surprised I didn't get Here, stuck I'm... in you when I rammed you. Yeah, I don't know. Are you gonna ram? Are you gonna run me over? Sure, why not? Oh. What? 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 <laughs> <laughs> Like you stand near the ramp and I'll ram you and then you go flying down the hole or something. Oh yeah, that'd be funny. Alright. Here we go. Slowly. Oh, the braking. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna fly off too, probably, and this is gonna be bad. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> Look at how far he went. <laughs> right there. Dude, dude, you didn't see me. <laughs> Yeah, I can see you. Oh my god. Jesus. That was crazy. So anything else uh, I should mention or you should mention or anything? Oh, come on. Why did you reset? I was coming down there. Wait, oh, oh, I you oh, oh, dang. You need to put a, a bottom part on the car because when you flip over, it looks kind of bad. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I have those on all... Oh, shit, I ran over a landmine. I You're forgot to place those out. all over the map. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm sorry, but, um, yeah, I put the so bottom this parts the, on all the this cars. This is a Chevy Belair without the roof. This looks really good. Yeah. So let's go the over landmine and see what happens. Whoops. You have to you have to hit it like just the right way or else nothing happens. Oh shit. Well, there goes the car and a Roblox laggy physics. So, uh, do you want to conclude this then? And is that it of everything? Oh yeah, let's do the explosive test car real quick. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to check out this guy's place. Uh, cars are probably for sale. It's up to him though. Um, uh, we're gonna use this for we're gonna use some of these for our racing game that we want to develop. But um. Yeah, I think that will be pretty much it, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share and favorite this video, and also comment if you'd like, and uh, probably provide a link in the description, or you can just look on F22's profile, or FATUBE2. Um, see you guys.